So what's the most expensive thing you could have to fix in your house? Is it the roof? Is it the furnace? Actually, it could be this, your sewer pipe. Hi, this is Greg Powers with Keller Williams Metropolitan, and this is Real Estate Smarts in under three minutes. If your home is on town water and sewer and you live in the Northeast, then your water and sewer lines could be pretty old and they may even have uh, tree roots growing in and interfering with their functioning. And unfortunately, you can't just walk outside and do a visual inspection every six months or so to see how they're doing. So if something does unexpectedly go wrong, you have two problems. The first is that typically you own the line from the house to where it connects in the street uh, with the city lines. And so the cost of fixing that issue falls on your and the second problem is, usually those are not problems you can put off fixing until you've saved up enough money to deal with it. Now, I was talking with one of my friends last week, and um, their house, they live in Manchester, and apparently they had 90-year-old clay pipes for their sewer, which all had to be replaced. 56 feet of line from the street to their house. Cost them $20,000. Now, there are a couple of things you can do to safeguard against these sorts of unexpected expenses. Um, if you are purchasing a property that's on town water and sewer, um, you can have a septic inspection done along with the home inspection. Um, and they, the septic company will run a camera through the sewer line, check for roots, damage, things like that. Uh, so you don't buy those problems uh, when they're already existing. And your second line of defense, of course, is insurance. Um, I spoke to my friends at Boyd and Buford Insurance Company in Bedford, and they gave me some information about what's called service line coverage. Um, this is an optional uh, part of your homeowner's insurance. They include it with every quote, but it runs about $75 to $150 per year. And you can get, depending on the company that's offering it, you can get up to $20,000 in coverage. Now, you would need to check with your specific carrier, but the service line policy may include communications, compressed air, drainage, electrical power, and heating, as well as the sewer and water lines. And there are different types of damage that the policy may cover you against as well, as you can see. So if you don't want to get hit with a gigantic bill for something like that, remember, be proactive with inspections and be protected with insurance. As always, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. And if there's anything I can ever help you with, give me a call. Thanks a lot.